Hey guys, how's it going? Derek here from Addictive Tips. So in this video, let's go over how to modify and uh, customize the console terminal, the default terminal for the KDE Plasma desktop environment. So to start off, open up console and you can just type in console here and you can find it. From there, you can click on, let's find it, the settings button here and then click edit current profile. Now from here, you've got a bunch of different options. So one of the first things you could do is you could change the command to start off with. So let's say I have fish as my default shell and maybe I want my terminal to start the fish shell instead of let's say bash because you know I like bash for some things but for this particular terminal I don't want it to use bash so I can uh, find where fish is and I can change the command here like so and just uh, paste it, click apply, and then if I click OK and open up a new tab, we can see that I'm now in the fish shell because I changed this little setting here. I can also change the icon if I don't like the default icon. Maybe I want something better and nicer looking, let's say like the gnome icon for example. I can do that and it should automatically switch to the new icon doesn't always work sometimes it doesn't use the right icons and it sometimes it overrides because of how plasma works but you can do that another thing you can change if you go into the current profile is you can change the appearance so if you don't like the default color scheme you can go through the list of color schemes and pick one that matches you better I like to use solarized so I'm going to select solarized you can also change the size of the font. Now this is one thing that I always do when I use KDE. The console font is so tiny. 10 points is not enough, so I usually change mine. On my big 27 inch screen, I usually set it to like 14. Sometimes maybe just 12 or 13, but you can change it to whatever you want. You can also change the fonts to whatever you'd like to, if you want to change it to something a little nicer looking. And if you click OK, it will instantly change. And uh, you can also, like I said, you can switch through any kind of color scheme you like. And just click apply to apply the settings. Moving on. Another thing you can mess with is the scrolling. So a thousand lines is the default scroll back. So what scroll back means is if I enter a bunch of commands and then go up on the scroll bar here, it'll only go back a thousand lines. Now, if I wanted to go back more, the best thing I can do, and this is one good thing that we cover in the article, is you can change the lines to maybe, let's say, 2000 is better, or unlimited. And unlimited, if you click the apply button here, will give you the ability to view unlimited scroll back. So if you enter a command like 3000 lines ago, you don't have to worry about it getting cut off. You can just scroll back as much as you like. So those are just a couple of things that you can do to customize the KDE Plasma terminal console. I think it's one of the best terminal emulators out there as far as things go. It's got a lot of different features, a lot of things that you can do. Um, I highly recommend it. Even if you're not using Plasma, you can also install this on other desktop environments. Anyways, there's a lot more customization options. I only got into the important ones in this video, but if you want to learn more about it, please check the link in the description and read the article that I wrote for more information. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.